blown fuse tester. Fuse is an electrical safety device used to provide over current protection in an electrical circuit. Its essential component is a metal wire that melts when too much current flows through it, thereby interrupting the current. Generally, when an equipment indicates no power, the cause may be just a blown fuse. Here is a blown fuse tester circuit that shows the condition of fuse through LED. This compact circuit is very useful and reliable. It uses very few components, which makes it inexpensive too. These are the components, which are needed in this project. 1 PNP, transistor, BC557, 2 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1 10 kilo ohm resistor, 1 diode, 1 N4148, 1 red LED, 1 green LED, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 2 fuse, 1 normal and 1 fused, 1 fuse holder, 1 zero PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Here is the circuit diagram of this project. We are using a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. BC557 is a PNP transistor. When fuse is working, then transistor gets a high signal from the diode and it turns off. Red LED remains off till the transistor is off. So in this case, green LED glows and red LED remains off. It shows that fuse is working, when fuse will blow, then transistor will get a low signal at its base, and it turn on, when transistor will turn on, then red LED will glow, in this case, green LED will not get the current to turn on, red LED indicates, that fuse is blown. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all. We will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the fuse holder. Now we will solder the diode. Diode has two terminals, positive and negative. Black lines indicates the negative side. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor.
Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the green LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive, and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery, to test our project. We are using two fuse, one is normal, and other one is fused. When we insert a working fuse in a fuse holder, then green LED glows. When we insert a blown fuse in a fuse holder, then red LED glows. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.